Hello and welcome to Wearmouth Deaneries Pentecost Service 2020. My name is Reverend Chantal Moppen and I'm a team vicar here in the parish of North Wearside, Sunderland. I've put together today's video and service together with lots of contributions from various friends of members of the deanery across the country, if not world actually. So I hope that you're able to follow it with us and through it find a connection to the greater body of the church. So let us pray. God speaks to us in the riches of creation. God speaks to us in the stories of Jesus. God speaks to us in the lives of other people. God speaks to us in words and ways that we can understand. Although we are dispersed right now across our homes and scattered communities, we pause together to mark Pentecost and so be united in prayer. In Christ, we are one body. There is no distance or isolation between us. Our individual gifts and abilities are known and valued. And nothing is impossible. There is always hope and so together we pray. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, Ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We hear our readings set for this day. When the Feast of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Without warning, there was a sound like a strong wind, gale force. No one could tell where it came from. It filled the whole building. Then divided tongues like wild fire appeared and sat on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they started speaking in different languages as the Spirit prompted them. در آن روزها یهودیان خدا ترس از همه ممالک زیر آسمان در اورشلیم به سر می بردن. چون این صدا برخواست جماعت گرد آمده غرق شگفتی شدند زیرا هر یک از ایشان می شنید که آنان به زبان خودش سخن می گویند. پس حیران و اوزاده گفتند مگر اینان که سخن می گویند جملگی اهل جلیل نیستند پس چگونه هر یک می شنویم که به زبان زادگاه ما سخن می گویند؟ همه میشنویم که ایشان به زبان ما متعمال عظیم خدا را میگویند. Jesus mötte över 5000 människor med bara några fiskar och några bröd och visade Guds överflödande kärlek och djupa behov att förse oss med det vi behöver och att ingenting är omöjligt för Gud. God gaat altijd met ons mee tot aan de einde der aarde en nog verder. We kunnen niet ontsnappen aan Gods liefde. God is met ons in onze beproevingen, in alle momenten van vreugde en verdriet. Jesus en is van hoop. Op nich. En pamog chromo mo chadid is lepo mo uvidiet. En tak azal prelju bodje noe jenshine, katoru ju jitje li gorede je kritikovali, što ana mužet byt prošena i načet novuju istoriju. Jésus a prêché que les enfants étaient importants et précieux, qu'il est important de ne pas les empêcher d'entendre l'Évangile, que les enfants aient une place à table et que le roi soit entendu. Il y avait beaucoup de Juifs qui Jérusalem juste then, devout pilgrims de all over the world. When they heard the sound, they came on the run. Then when they heard one after another, Jesus their own mother tongues being spoken, they were awestruck. They couldn't for the life of them work out what was going on. And they kept saying, Aren't all these Galileans? How come we are hearing them talk in our own different mother tongues? They're speaking our own languages. 
describing God's mighty works. Gesù ascolta alla gente emarginata e vulnerabile. Comunque disse ai potenti e alle autorità che la gente è umile sarà elevata. Dieu nous a donné son fils bien-aimé pour que nous puissions mieux le comprendre et que l'on sache qu'il nous aime. Wij, de kinderen van God, zijn ieder gemaakt in het beeld van God en wij zijn geliefd. Wij zijn vol verwondering en vol angst gemaakt. God kent en heeft iedere haar op ons hoofd lief. Al onze gedachten zijn God dierbaar. Iedereen die roept in de naam van de Heilige zal gered worden. Their heads were spinning. They couldn't make head or tail of any of it. They talked back and forth, confused. What's going on here? Others joked. They're drunk on cheap wine. That's when Peter stood up, backed by the eleven, spoke out with bold urgency. Fellow Jews, all of you who are visiting Jerusalem, listen carefully and get this story straight. These people aren't drunk, as some of you suspect. They haven't had time to get drunk. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. This is what the prophet Joel announced would happen. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on every kind of people. Your sons will prophesy. Also your daughters. Your young men will see visions. Your old men dream dreams. When the time comes, I'll pour out my spirit on those who serve me, men and women both, and they'll prophesy. I'll set wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billowing smoke, the sun turning black and the moon blood red. Before the day of the Lord arrives, the day tremendous and marvellous. And whoever calls out for help to me, God, will be saved. در روزهای آخر که از روح خود بر تمام بشر فرو خواهم ریخت پسران و دختران شما نبوت خواهند کرد جوانانتان رویاها خواهند دید و پیرانتان خواب ها و نیز در آن روزها حتی بر غلامان و کنیزانم از روح خود فرو خواهم ریخت و آنها نبوت خواهند کرد کیکونک انوکورا لو نوم دو سینیور سورا سوفی Var en som åkallar Herrens namn ska bli räddad. Todos. Los que invocarán el nombre del Señor. Iedereen die roept in de naam van de Heilige zal gered worden. Siaki, kto praje za vjot i ne postje spasi. Tout le monde qui invoque le nom du Seigneur sera sauvé. Iedereen die roept in de naam van de Heilige zal gered worden. Todos. Los que invoquen el nombre del Señor serán salvados.
Hear the Gospel of the Lord according to John. A reading from chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. The Promise of Living Water. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. For the scripture says, Out of him shall flow rivers of living water. Jesus was referring to the Spirit, which those who believe in him were to receive. The Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus had not yet entered into his glory. در روز آخر که روز بزرگ عید بود ایسا ایستاد و به بانگ بلند ندا در داد هر که تشنه است نزد من آید و بنوشد هر که به من ایمان آورد همان گونه که کتاب میگوید از بطن او نهرهای آب زنده روان خواهد شد این سخن را درباره روح گفت که آنان که به او ایمان بیاورند آن را خواهند یافت زیرا روح هنوز عطا نشده بود از اون رو که ایسا هنوز جلال نیافته بود. This is the gospel of the Lord. So let us take some time to reflect on the story of Pentecost, the message of Pentecost. As we think of that first Pentecost, the birth of the church, where the gathered apostles were in one place with people from all different backgrounds, colours, creeds, languages. And then because of the power of the Holy Spirit, they were able to be united in their diversity. The Spirit enabled them to connect, to speak to each other, to tell of the wondrous, amazing works of God, of the power of God, of the grace of God, of that unfathomable depth of God's love for humanity, to share their belief that God had changed their life, to describe the relationship that they were able to have with God through Christ. The Holy Spirit enabled that to happen and still enables that today. At this time when we are isolated and distanced from each other, we are acutely aware of our impact on others, on our interconnectedness, our interdependency. 
the independence that we sometimes crave has become a dependence and yet out of respect for others we are apart. It's a different kind of Pentecost and yet our hope and prayer is still the same that despite our differences, despite the distances, we can be united by Christ, in Christ. For the good of the world, for the love of our neighbour, we can be united in prayer, word and worship. We know that nothing is impossible with God. For all that we feel unable to do things, or disempowered, or not good enough, God shows us that we are, that we are worthy, and that through us, God can use us for amazing, incredible things. Let us not doubt God's faith in us, as our faith in God also can grow. We have so much to share and celebrate in this trying time of a global pandemic. There is still good in the world. There is still evidence and activity of the busyness of God that we are invited to be a part of. So let's take some time to think about the fruits of the spirit, to consider them and where they are best seen in our lives, in us, in the way that we are living. A reminder of what they are. We have kindness, peace, faithfulness, gentleness, love, patience, goodness, self-control and joy. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. When we hear that Gospel reading, I was really taken by the, the sense of flow, the sense of movement, that this faith we have in Christ, this faith we have in God, this joy and hope in believing, is meant to be abundant and dynamic and enthusiastic and to spill out of us in such a way that others cannot be unaffected. That our hope in Christ is contagious, our hope that things can get better, that there is good and God to be seen in everybody and everything. That's an amazing thing to try to hold to. That gospel passage we have just heard speaks of a flowing living water a flowing sense of life and joy. It's not the most common gospel reading for Pentecost. We usually have the other one, the peace be upon you. But at this time, the sense of our hope being able to flow where water can go, where the spirit can go, there is nowhere that the spirit cannot get. Nothing can stand in the way of the spirit of God. And as our Acts reading so dramatically put it, all languages, all people, everyone, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. God's love is for everybody. We are all invited and we are all welcome at the table. So it's the fruits of the spirit that enable us to do that, to live that out in a real lived out experiential way that will inspire others and in, empower others. So we think on those fruits of the spirit and we think about which ones of them we're pretty good at because there'll be some. We think about which ones of those we maybe struggle with a little bit more. And we take some time to ask God for growth in the ones that we actually do a bit of work on. Thanks for the ones that we're, we're not doing too badly with. And just pray that we will be open to God's nudging, to the growth of the spirit in our lives and the way that we are living out our faith with others. So there'll be some music to play while you sit for a few moments and reflect on this. And you might want to do some colouring or some I don't know, knitting. Just take a few moments to think about it. And if, like me, you're easily distracted and best to have something to do, maybe find something appropriate to do at the same time. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire and lighten with celestial fire. Thou the anointing Spirit art, who dost thy sinful gifts impart. Thy blessed unction from above is comfort, life, and fire of love. Enable with perpetual light the of our blinded side. Uh -huh. 
anoint and cheer us all at base with the abundance of thy grace. Keep far our foes, give peace at home, where thou art guide, no ill can come. Show us the Father and the Son, in thee and with thee forever one, then through the ages all along. This shall be our unending song. Praise to thy eternal merit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray on this Feast of Pentecost and at this time of national and international crisis for God to fill us all with his Spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that you may fill us with that power as we seek to serve you and one another. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask for wisdom this day for all who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policy. Give us wisdom in our daily choices as we seek to protect one another from the coronavirus. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring peace to all who are anxious, those who have been furloughed, those who have lost their work, those who are worried about their business, those who are struggling with self-isolation and social distancing. Lord, give us peace in our daily lives. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring that healing, relief and recovery for all who have contracted the coronavirus and your presence alongside epidemiologists and medical researchers looking for a vaccine. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us all for the work we do. We remember before you our NHS staff, emergency services, care workers, public transport staff, supermarket workers, refuse collectors, delivery drivers, teachers, and so many more key workers who are keeping us going. We pray that you would continue to equip them for their task, and we give thanks for them. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to continue to reveal your love in our lives as we seek to care for and protect one another. We give you thanks and pray for our food banks and community organisations who are keeping the hungry and isolated fed. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit and we ask you would breathe on and bless your church as we seek to bless our communities and our world. Be with our church leaders, our church members and our congregations as we seek to continue to serve you during lockdown and in this period of crisis. Lord, fill us with your Spirit. We pray for the people and the place of our beautiful but often underloved city of Sunderland. We bring to God the shops, businesses, schools, factories and services we rely on. We pray for the people of the estates, the flats, 
big houses and terraced cottages, those with gardens and those without. Lord, fill us with your spirit. We give thanks for the encouragement, beauty and joy we can find all around us, in our parks, green areas, beachfront and even some of the graffiti we see. For our landmarks, both well known and little recognised, the historic churches, imposing bridges, our port, the memories of shipbuilding, mining and glass making. For our football team, help us to celebrate the good things we have and seek to make more. Lord, fill us with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Gathering our prayers into one, let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive and us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, 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 against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Friends, I invite you to light a candle at this point, if you wish. Um, this year of not being in church, we haven't been using our Paschal candle. So when I did my service of light vigil in my back garden this year, I used my son's baptism candle. So that's what I'm going to use today. And there's actually something quite profound in a way about being reminded that we are united through our baptism. So actually, that's why I'm going to use this today. So find a candle and light it. Taking care of your hair. For 50 days we have celebrated the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ over the powers of sin and death. We have proclaimed God's mighty acts and we have prayed that the power that was at work when God raised Jesus from the dead might be at work in us. As part of God's church we are all called to live out the gospel we proclaim. The strong and the weak, young and old, male and female alike. So on this day we are invited to commit ourselves to that call afresh. To trust God to be our guide as we walk into God's future for us. To love our neighbours. To pray earnestly and to actively seek ways to share our faith and carry the light of Christ into the world around us. To show that although our buildings are shut, the church is still open and active. With the help of God, we will. May you go with the protection of God, who made you for wholeness, the encompassing of Christ who calls you beloved, the grace of the Spirit who bids us be as one, and the blessing of God who is creator, redeemer, sustainer of all, be with you and those you love this day and always. Amen. Filled with the Spirit's power, may we be filled with the light and peace of Christ and so share it within the world. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Alleluia. 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 And we couldn't have a Pentecost service without singing this, what is now a classic, song at the end. So... Please join us at home, sing your hearts out and don't forget to clap. Take care, stay safe. God bless. <laughs>